The last time I did a Jasper review was close to 12 months ago. Since then, I have achieved tons using Jasper. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything I've achieved with Jasper. And then I'm going to answer a really important question, which is, if I could go back when I first started using Jasper, knowing what I know now, what would I change? So without further ado, strap in because it's been quite the year. Let's start things off with Quora. When I first started using Jasper, I was blown away by just how fast I could create blog posts. So I thought, hey, it would be really cool to create a case study where I spend one hour per day answering people's questions using Quora from a brand new Quora account. The main objective of this case study was to prove to people that if you do one thing every single day, which doesn't really require much work, you can start creating a untapped traffic source, which then once it's going, you just need to keep it oiled. For every single day for 30 days, well, it was actually 24, I managed to get the account up to 10,000 views. That was with no paid advertising or backlinking or anything of the sort, purely using Quora to find questions and then using Jasper to answer those questions. Little would I know that 10 months down the line, from answering around about 80 questions, my Quora account was featured to over 50 million news feeds. I generated a ton of emails which then resulted into a ton of sales. Needless to say I was pretty happy with the results. From the Quora campaign I then started creating email series using Jasper. Everywhere from email subject lines to the actual copy of the email. I used Jasper for all of it and my open rate went from 5% to over 40% and on occasion I even got a 89% open rate which in my eyes was incredible. This is what you want from email marketing because if people are not opening your emails you're not going to have people reading your office. Needless to say, I was really happy with the monetary results. At this stage, you can probably imagine Jasper already paid for itself over and over. Then the natural evolution for me was creating micro niche blog sites. I started off with utilizing what I learned from Quora with the amount of questions that I answered and then I started writing more detailed responses in a blog format. I was able to write two to three 1500 word blogs a day and I was still able to do things with the family. I decided I didn't want to create backlinks or anything on those lines and I was going to go the slow route and just let these websites start building. Once again I was really happy with the results and every single day the total clicks was just increasing. Now I've got tons of emails coming in every single day because these micro niche blogs, which really took no time at all to create, are now basically generating all of this for me, which then goes into my email series and the whole cycle continues. So ultimately at this point, everything I've done has just been about building traffic sources to grab people's emails and then automating the entire process. And Jasper turns something that should have taken weeks and months to make perfect took me a matter of a couple of days and we're talking about hundreds of email series hundreds of blog posts and 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 then i thought what else can i do with jasper that's going to allow me to generate some sort of automated income and also something that's not going to take up much of my time because truth be told i actually don't like writing shocker so i thought templates so i went into jasper and i started creating all sorts of marketing templates for pay-per-click advertising for local business rankings. I then packaged them up and started offering them as a service to local businesses. I also offered them as gifts in a lot of my lead magnets, which again converted really well because what business doesn't want marketing templates? And then finally, my core skill, which is video SEO. I then started using Jasper to help me create optimized YouTube descriptions and titles, which as a result has generated me tens of thousands of pounds in affiliate commissions. And that is where we're up to within the past 12 months regarding the Jasper tool. So it's been a pretty busy 12 months, which usually would have taken me much, much longer. But the thing here isn't the lack of hard work. The thing here is the optimization side of things where everything I do is much more efficient and is better from a marketing perspective and that in its own right is worth its weight in gold. So if I could go back to when I first started using Jasper or back then it was conversion.ai, like what cheat sheet would I give to myself just to 
get better faster and where should I be focusing on? The first thing I would absolutely do is I would have upgraded my account to the boss mode. I know this isn't a sales ploy or anything on those lines, but the boss mode is faster in generations. It's a much more natural way in writing, which allows you just to be more natural in your workflow. And overall, it lets you write five times faster. Boss mode was the biggest mistake I did because I didn't purchase it from the get-go. So I had this weird learning curve along the way. But trust me when I say this, boss mode is boss. Next, I would say learn recipes. You see, the recipes are basically your own customized frameworks that you can quickly run and then it will create a document for you and then you can just get going with the overall outline. So if you constantly are doing product reviews or you're creating blogs, which follows a similar template, recipes is just going to 5x your workflow. I actually discovered this when I was creating all of my micro niche websites. And once I learned recipes, it was an absolute time saver. Also, you can share these or even sell these recipes to your contact list or other people in your community. So there's actually a money generator there for you as well, which is always nice. My mindset. That was perhaps the biggest thing here. First, I just couldn't get Jasper to give me any good outputs. And it was difficult to know if it was me or if it was the software, but either way, it didn't matter because I was not getting the results I needed. Then I shifted my mindset to start thinking, well, the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 should be done by Jasper, and then 20% should be you fact-checking and tweaking and formatting. Once I started applying that 80-20 rule, everything changed. It was really easy to do. I wasn't consistently thinking, oh, I've got to do this, got to do that, because I expected this sort of workflow. You see, it's impossible for these sort of tools to give you 100% accuracy because these tools do not use technology that bring you results from the last two years. But like every single company on the planet, we all use specific framework. So if you're creating a description about an iPhone, well, the terminology used with iPhones is pretty similar and the way they describe the sleekness and the shine on the corners and just the beautiful design and stuff like that, it's all the same. But the only difference there is the specs. So you can then modify the specs, but keep the overall terminology the same. This made things really easy once I understood it. Finally, using the power mode toggle button when in boss mode. Jasper has a ton of commands and it can be pretty overwhelming, especially as you're getting started. So what power mode does is it opens up the template side of everything, but ultimately it's basically a list of all the templates Jasper uses. So then you know that if you glance to the left, oh, actually I can use that framework and then write it into boss mode. That just makes everything really simple and then you're not constantly sitting and struggling and forgetting what that template is called or this template called because it's right in front of you and also it makes you feel really tech savvy because you've got these two two cool looking screens open which i know is a funny thing to say but when you feel techy and you feel good about what you're doing your workflow is escalated i actually call that the google effect creating such an amazing atmosphere that you never want to leave if you've not already tried jasper i've left a 10,000 word free trial that you can activate by clicking the link below or going to trialjasper.com i do hope you enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time